It is December and to me this time of year just is not complete without eggnog. I know that people have strong opinions on it. I personally love it and I feel like you haven't really tried eggnog until you've tried it homemade. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make homemade eggnog. It is beyond simple and not as intimidating as I feel like it sometimes seems. And I'll also be sharing with you how to make this refined sugar free. For this recipe, you need six egg yolks. So I'm starting out with separating the egg yolks and whites. The whites I will set aside for another use. Traditionally, the whites are set aside and whisked until stiff peaks are formed and then folded into the eggnog after it has cooled. However, I have always just left them out and used them another way. To the egg yolks, add a half cup of cane sugar. You can also use pure maple syrup, which is what I typically use, however I was running low on it. And whisk the egg yolks and the sugar until the mixture has thickened and lightened in color. The egg yolk mixture should be a pale yellow, and if you do choose to use maple syrup in place of the cane sugar, you're not going to get quite the same result. Just whisk the yolks and the syrup together well for a couple minutes. To a saucepan, add one cup of heavy cream and three cups of whole milk. I find this ratio to be plenty rich, however you can use equal parts of heavy cream and whole milk if you want. And add a pinch of salt and a quarter teaspoon of ground vanilla bean, which is what I used, or you can just use a good splash of vanilla extract or the seeds from a whole vanilla bean. For spices, I keep it very simple and I add about a half teaspoon of ground or freshly grated nutmeg. If you can, I will always recommend using freshly grated, there just is no comparison. And nutmeg is something that I measure with the heart, so I likely added a little bit extra here. You can add spices like ground ginger or cinnamon or even cloves, but I always choose to leave it really simple with just the nutmeg. Heat the milk mixture over medium heat, stirring constantly until the milk mixture is hot but not simmering or boiling. Once the milk mixture is hot, slowly begin to add it to the egg yolk mixture, one ladle full at a time, whisking constantly to temper the egg yolks. Once most of the milk mixture has been added to the yolk mixture, pour it back into the saucepan. Stir the eggnog mixture over medium heat until it has started to thicken slightly. Keep in mind that it will thicken quite a bit as it cools. Mm -hmm. 
Remove the eggnog from the heat and pour through a fine mesh strainer. At this point, you can stir in alcohol if you wish, be it brandy, rum, or bourbon, but I prefer to leave my non-alcoholic. One of my favorite ways to enjoy my eggnog is by adding a splash to my morning coffee, so I prefer to leave it out, and then if we want, we can always add it later. Allow the eggnog to cool before serving. To speed up this process, you can place the eggnog in a bowl or a jar over a second bowl of ice, and this will store for at least a week in the fridge, potentially longer, but it usually doesn't end up lasting that long. If you do try this recipe, I would love to hear from you, and I hope it becomes a staple that you enjoy throughout the holiday season. Thank you for watching.